So you're moving here to Ohio and you're considering moving to the Dayton area and you don't know exactly where to live. Well, in this video, my team and I came up with the eight worst cities to live in in Dayton, Ohio. So these are the ones that you may or may not want to avoid uh, when coming to this area and we'll give you those reasons why. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in Dayton, Ohio. This is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now, as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out now honestly we get tons of phone calls emails and texts from people that are moving to this area they got some questions need some help and well <laughs> we absolutely love it so if you are moving to this area you got some questions need some help again give us a call text email heck shoot us a little paper airplane <laughs> whatever you need to do we got your back when moving here to the dayton area so let's talk about Dayton. Myself, I'm not actually from Dayton. I'm not an uh, original person from here. I am a transplant. Like most of the time in my military career, that's just what happened. So from the views of an outsider, these are what we've picked up since we've been here over the few, past few years that we've been residing in the Dayton area. So first of all, why do people even want to move here if it isn't a, like a mandatory move from the military or something like that? Well. Dayton's actually really cool. Absolutely loved it since we've been here. COVID kind of had a little bit of a hiccup. Now that everything has opened back up again, it's pretty amazing. It really is, it really is. Uh, if you've moved from a different climate where there isn't four seasons, you do have the four seasons here. And it's absolutely phenomenal. The people that are living out here take it to the absolute advantage. There is one season where it's just kind of overcast and it stays that way for about three to four months so once we get past that it's pretty awesome <laughs> and absolutely gorgeous uh, you also have Dayton as a very vibrant and just exciting culture it's being revitalized and even with the slowdown in 2020 we're seeing a lot of infrastructure coming back into this area a uh, great place for young adults to really kind of start their career have things to do it's really been great uh, Dayton I absolutely love their highway systems. No matter where you end up, you're gonna be anywhere for between 30 minutes to five minutes away from anywhere you wanna be, which is phenomenal. If you've never been in a place that's had this, it's just incredible. <laughs> Not getting stuck in all that crazy traffic. There's different ways to go to get to places. Another great thing that we have is just a great variety of food and restaurants and delicious libations all throughout the uh, greater Dayton area, which has been really, really great just to explore. If you haven't seen it, one of our more popular videos on this channel is the uh, best restaurants in Dayton, where we give you just a quick look at some of the great restaurants that we do have here. So definitely check that out. Shameless plug. All right, and we also have lots of outdoor activities and festivals, like I told you. As soon as the weather gets better, we start to see people out and about. We have just random places in different parts of the city suburbs that you can go to with live music, great outdoor green spaces. They've got the metro parks throughout the area. It's just phenomenal. It's just a great place to be. So let's talk about those eight different cities to avoid when you get into this area. Now, it could be just avoiding for certain things. What we specifically looked at was just what we talked to different people about. And I hate being negative about any specific area, so we had to use some sort of metric. If you go on to niche.com, you can see where we got a lot of our metrics as well as area vibes uh, to get a lot of the uh, different things like crime, housing, and, and schools, and things like that to be able to give you this ranking. Now, how this is going to work is I'll show you what those cities are, what the crime rate, housing, and public schools, and where exactly in the greater Dayton area that you can find these. Okay, 
Starting at number eight, and let's work our way down, shall we? <laughs> right, number eight is Kettering. Kettering is directly south of Dayton, and it's actually south of Oakwood, which is actually rated number one in this area. Uh, personally, I don't think this is a terrible area. It's very just a suburb of, uh, just another Dayton suburb. And it's, it, it's actually really nice in some, some places I like to go visit as well. However, when we rank it for crime, housing, and public schools, here's what we got. For crime and safety, it was only rated a C plus, so it's kind of on the bottom end there. Housing was an A negative, which is actually really good. So this is one of the more affordable places. Uh, it's what a, we considered when we first moved here, which is kind of that happy medium. It's not super expensive in the best neighborhood, but it's not super poor in the poorest neighborhood. Uh, we kind of considered it as a starter area for uh, somebody buying their first home. So it was actually really nice. Uh, the public schools are also rated A, they have great private schools in there too. So I know this is sounding more like the best thing, well, it is the best on the list. So Kettering at number eight. Moving on, we have number seven as Germantown. Now Germantown is just west of Miamisburg and it's really southwest of Dayton. It's kind of in the greater Dayton area. Almost didn't want to consider it, but it is still considered a suburb of uh, the Dayton area. So crime in this area is C plus as well. The housing is only rated a B and public schools are a B plus. It's kind of out in the midst of nowhere <laughs> if you do take a drive out there, uh, but it is, it is still uh, a nice place to go out to. All right, number six on this list is Huber Heights. And I said this, name of the city wrong for so long <laughs> until somebody finally connected me. You can probably watch on my previous videos uh, me screwing that up. But it is Huber Heights and it is northeast of downtown Dayton. It's just northwest of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Now this community is kind of a older community where it has a lot of retired military as well as active duty military in this area. Uh, but it's, uh, it's still really nice and, and affordable. Now, as we rank these, we have a crime uh, and safety as rated as C+. The housing, again, is at a B. Public schools, well, it, it uh, got down a little bit at a C+. Okay, moving on, we have number five, which is Fairborn. Now, Fairborn is northeast of Dayton, and it's right outside of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Crime and safety is a C plus, your housing is a B minus, and your public schools are a C plus. Now, I <laughs> have to kind of talk about this because I've been through a lot of military bases uh, just throughout my career and now this part of my life being a spouse. And it seems like the towns right outside the gate never are the best, um, <laughs> rated the best because of it. I don't know why. Go to Virginia and you'll see why if you go outside that gate. Um, but anyway, that's where we are number five. Moving on to number four is Moraine. And that is just southwest of Dayton and east of I-75. The This area was actually the main part when the auto industry was here prior to the recession where all the industry was. So it was really nice and the surrounding communities had had a whole bunch of money pumping through it and lots of workers, jobs, things like that. But it has since left since around 2008 or so. So it kind of run down a little bit. It's getting better, but it's still not what it used to be. So crime and safety is a C minus. The housing in this area is a B and the public schools are A minus. So not terribly, terribly bad. Okay, moving on to number three, worst area to move to. It's West Carrollton. West Carrollton is just southwest of Dayton and west of I-75. So actually the place I was just talking about in Moraine is just south of that. The crime and safety is rated C, housing is a B minus, and public schools are a C plus. Now this one started to move up just because of the ranking structure that we have. I personally have lived in this area and I thought it was great, but <laughs> the things that we're ranking it on, um, 
it's it still ends up more towards the we're not to move to and that's because of the public schools and the uh, the housing isn't all that great now that could be said all around uh, but certain parts like i'm going to mention in most of these communities have really nice areas that you can still move to and enjoy uh, where it's at so west Carrollton was number three going on to number two we have trotwood now, Trotwood is just northwest of Dayton. It's just south of Clayton and actually starts uh, around Route 49 and just shoots off to the west there. Uh, the crime and safety here is rated C. The housing is a C minus and public schools are C minus. It's, as you imagine, a little rundown in certain areas. Things I just talked about, West Carrollton also apply to this area. It's, um, it it kind of carries on what East Dayton kind of works into. And it's really uh, unfortunate that um, that it, that's kind of how that area works. But based on ratings, that's number two. All right, number one that you've been looking for, and I bet that you've seen tons of videos on this about moving to Dayton and things like that. And you finally arrived at my video. Number one is downtown Dayton. <laughs> and a lot of times you may find some some areas that say how terrible Dayton is to move into. They're not in reference to the surrounding areas and suburbs because they're really, really nice. What they're talking about is downtown Dayton. And I'm not going to include certain parts because there's lots of like different areas. What I'm going to talk about mainly that people say are the worst areas to live in are now just on the uh, western side. The western side of Dayton. They also say certain parts of eastern, but it's more concentrated on the western side. If you look at Google Maps, you're going to find that uh, places like Five Oaks and Santa Clara, if we look on the crime and safety, are rated some of the worst areas. Uh, if you continue to look in those areas, you have Greenwich Village, you've got Cornell Heights, and it's pretty much just most areas, most areas, not all of them, but most areas in the eastern part of Dayton. The crime on average, on average in the downtown Dayton area is about a C minus to almost a D. Uh, housing there is again about a C minus. It's very affordable if you're looking to invest, but maybe not a certain area that you might necessarily want to live in. Public schools is like any of the major cities uh, that are in this sort of recovery, uh, sitting at a C minus. So, those are your number ones. And I know that number one kind of encompassed a lot of them, but uh, I wanted to give you some perspective on what it was like completely around this area. And um, that's all we have for you now. If you have any questions about anything I had mentioned here, please leave it in the comments below. I do apologize that this is more of a negative type of video. I hate doing these, but I know that this is what the people want to hear. So if you have any questions about any of the areas that I had mentioned, please leave it here in the comments below. If you're from some of these areas and you have something positive to say about them, please again, leave it here in the comments below. I Please keep this positive. This is for everybody else moving to this area and I want them to have the best information possible when they do get here. So if you are moving to the Dayton area, you have some questions and you need some help, please give us a call, text, email. It's not just me here. We got a whole team of locals, out of towners like myself, uh, just a whole bunch of great people here to help you out in your specific needs. So give us a call, text, email, uh, find us on social media, whatever you need to do. We get your back when moving here to the Dayton area. Again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with EXP Realty, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.